Good morning, beloved in Christ. May the peace of the Lord shine upon you and your family this new day. I'm David Wells, and today we're going to talk about something very important for our spiritual journey, persistence in prayer. Many times we face difficult moments and it seems like our prayers are not being answered. Maybe you've already asked yourself, is God listening to me? Why hasn't the blessing arrived yet? But I tell you, in the name of Jesus, that God hears every word that comes out of your heart. The Bible teaches us that we must be patient in tribulation and persistent in prayer. And this perseverance is what brings us closer to God's promises. Maybe you are on the verge of a great blessing and you don't even know it. But the Lord is calling you to continue firm because the answer is closer than you think. Today, let's pray together and talk about the importance of trusting in God's timing. When we stand firm, persisting in faith, the Lord honors us with his providence. It's not time to give up. On the contrary, it is time to strengthen your faith and believe that victory is already being prepared for you. Stay with me until the end of this video and learn how persistent prayer can open the doors to God's blessings in your life. Now, I want to invite you to participate in this special moment of prayer. If you feel in your heart the desire to pray for something specific, leave your prayer request here in the comments. Let's form a true chain of faith, interceding for each other and placing our worries in the hands of the Father. Remember that when we unite in prayer, the power of God manifests itself in a great way. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and all those who need a word of hope. This way, together, we can spread the message of the gospel and bring the grace and mercy of Jesus to more and more people. May the name of the Lord be glorified in every home reached by this message. Let us now raise our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Lord God, beloved Father, at this moment, we place ourselves before you with humble hearts, recognizing your greatness and your sovereignty over all things. Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise and bless you for all the wonders you perform in our lives, for your blessings and for your infinite mercy. Hallowed be thy name, Lord, and glorified be thy kingdom over us. Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit descend upon us now, filling each heart with your peace, bringing your wisdom and guiding us in all our decisions. Lord, you know each of our concerns, each pain, each struggle. Therefore, we surrender everything into your hands. We ask for your protection over our families, friends, and all those we love. May your mighty hand cover us under your wings, protecting us from all evil, from every trap of the enemy, and from all the storms of life. Father, we also ask you for healing. We know that you are the God who heals, and in the name of Jesus, we cry out for the restoration of physical, mental, and spiritual health of all those who are sick at this time. May your power be manifested in the lives of those who are suffering with pain, illness, and afflictions. Heal, Lord, every wound, every infirmity, and bring the relief we so desperately need. Lord, we surrender our financial concerns to you. We know that you are our provider, and we trust that you are taking care of every detail of our lives. We ask that you open doors of employment for those who are unemployed, that you grant wisdom in managing finances for those who are going through difficulties, and that your supply be abundant in every home. May we trust, without reservation, that the Lord is in control of all things, and that we will lack nothing, for the Lord is our shepherd. Father, in the name of Jesus, we also cry out for strength and perseverance. We know that life is full of challenges and difficulties, but we believe that the Lord gives us the courage and faith necessary to face each battle. We ask that you strengthen us in the midst of trials, that you renew our strength when we are tired, and that you sustain us with your mighty hand. May we find rest in you, Lord, and may your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and our minds. 
Father, we ask that the Lord help us to live according to your will. May our desires and wills align with your perfect plan, and may we be living witnesses of your love and grace. May our faith be unshakable, and may we, even in times of greatest difficulty, trust that the Lord is with us, guiding us on the path of righteousness. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your redemptive work. We know that through your sacrifice on the cross, we were freed from sin and received the promise of eternal life. Help us to live in constant repentance, recognizing our faults and seeking your grace. May your forgiveness reach us, and may we forgive those who offend us just as you forgive us. Father, we praise you for all the blessings we have already received. We know that every breath every day is a gift from you. We thank you for every open door, for every deliverance, for every manifestation of your providence in our lives. May our hearts always be grateful, and may we, at all times, recognize your mighty hand working in our favor. May, in the name of Jesus, we may today and always walk in the light of your truth, trusting in your promises, firm in faith and full of hope. May your presence surround us, and may we feel your embrace of love and protection in every moment of our lives. Lord, we surrender everything to you, certain that you are hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. Let us now open the Holy Scriptures and meditate on the Word of God. Today, we are going to read Psalm 23, a passage that brings us comfort and security in all moments of life. The Word of God tells us this, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. This psalm reminds us of an essential truth. The Lord is our shepherd, the one who takes care of us in every detail. He leads us on the right paths, gives us rest when we are tired, and restores our strength when we feel weak. Even when we face the valley of the shadow of death, that is, moments of extreme difficulty and suffering, we need not fear, for He is with us. His presence comforts us, and His protection keeps us from all evil. May we bring this passage into our daily lives, always remembering that, regardless of the difficulties we face, the Lord is by our side, guiding us, protecting us, and providing everything we need. He is the shepherd who leads us to places of peace, even when everything around us seems difficult. May this word strengthen our faith and renew our trust in God's promises. Now, let's also reflect on the letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 12, which tells us, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. This passage is a powerful reminder that in times of trial, we are called to maintain joy in the hope of Christ, to have patience during difficulties, and above all, to persevere in prayer. Many times, the challenges of life can seem overwhelming, but God calls us to trust in Him, to be persistent in our faith, and to never stop praying. When we persevere in prayer, we connect with the will of God, and He, in His mercy, grants us the strength to continue and the peace that only He can give. May we keep these words in our hearts and apply them in our lives, knowing that prayer is the key to keeping us firm on the path of God and to receiving the blessings that He has prepared for us. May the Lord, in His infinite goodness, bless you and your whole family. May every prayer made with faith and perseverance be answered in God's perfect time. Don't forget that the Father calls us to trust in Him, to keep our faith firm and to never give up praying. The blessing you are waiting for may be one step away from coming true. God willing, we will be together again in the next video for another moment of prayer and reflection. May the Lord continue to guide you, strengthen you, and fill you with peace. And before you leave, I invite you to watch the video that is appearing on the screen now. 
it will certainly bring even more blessings and words of wisdom to your life. Stay with God and see you next time.